Hey everyone, it's been a while, but I'm back! And now it's time for more Flight of the Amazon Queen. Last time, I made it through the Temple of Prince Almax Aquadal, and all the way to where the Crystal Skull is stored. But the Temple Guardian is standing in my way, well, floating. I want that skull, but first... Excuse me, what do you want? She promised to tell me something last time we met. You still haven't told me. Who are you? I am the Temple Guardian. My masters created me to ensure the Crystal Skull does not fall into the wrong hands. Are you some sort of ghost? Although I have the visage of an apparition, I am in fact a hologram. A hollow what? Never mind. Let me just say that I cannot interact with you in any physical way. So, I suppose a dinner and a movie is out of the question. I am afraid so. Tell me more about your masters. My masters come from a place far, far away. They have visited your people over time to study and educate them. This temple is a monument to their achievements. Why can't you just give me the skull? The skull is an important source of energy. In the wrong hands, it could be dangerous. I can only give it to the sworn heir of Prince Al Maxaquatl. If you are that person, then prove it. What's so important about the Al Maxaquatl family? Prince Al Maxaquatl constructed this temple under the guidance of my masters. Its safety was placed in his charge, a responsibility that is borne by his successors. I gotta go. Farewell. Actually, I'm not going anywhere. She wants the key, so... I've got the key to my Almax Aquatal heritage. Show it to me. That is the death mask of Texacortu. He was one of Almax Aquatal's finest warriors, but he was not a member of the royal family. Ah, uh, shoot. Yeah, just kidding. I know what the key is. I have evidence that proves I am the Almax Aquatal heir. Okay. Let me see it. Hold it right there. Birthmarks don't count. It's not a birthmark. Now, will you just let me finish? That's not the key. That is the Royal Amazonian Tyranno Horn. There's no fool in you, is there? No. I'm not even going to bother with the real key. I'll just try everything. I've got the key to my lineage right here. Show me. What is that? It's my, uh, it's my royal bagpipes. I would appreciate it if you stopped wasting my time. No way, it ain't Christmas yet. Oh dang, I was hoping he'd have a response for everything. No thanks, I've grown attached to it. This book documents my family legacy. It proves that I am heir to the royal house of Almax Aquadal. That is not the key. It is a Commander Rocket comic book. If you are not the heir, then leave this place. I'm amazed she knows who Commander Rocket is. Nah, I'm gonna hold on to it for a while longer. I'd have to pick that up first. Hmm. I could talk all I want, but it ain't gonna talk back. I just love how much trouble I have with this knife. No way, it ain't Christmas yet. And it doesn't even work. Yeah, the crown is obviously the real key. I've got the key to my lineage. Let me see. What, pray tell, is that? It's the Royal Almax Aquatal Scepter. There is no such thing as a Royal Almax Aquatal Scepter. If you are not the heir, then leave me alone. I think I have the key to my lineage. Show me it. That is a burnt hand puppet. Okay, it's a burnt hand puppet, but you gotta admit, it looks kinda cute. Stop wasting my time. No thanks, I've grown attached to it. Oh, the ID was promising. Look, these wrappings are the remains of my great ancestor, Prince Almaxaquadl. Indeed, they are the prince's wrappings, but they are not the key to your lineage. Damn. No way, it ain't Christmas yet. Do you want to see the key to my lineage? 
Of course. That's not the key. It's some sort of experimental rocket pack. Crude, but effective. Do I get some credit for trying? No. Alright, well, that's everything, so time to give her the actual key. I've got the key to my lineage right here. Yes, and what might that key be? It's the crown that's been in my family for hundreds of years. Ah, the Royal Almax Aquatal headpiece. That's the one. Here. Oops, sorry about that. Do not worry. You have proven that you are the heir. You are worthy to take the skull. Thanks. Neat. As a member of the Royal House of Almax Aquatal, I trust that you know what you are doing. Now I must leave. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Can't be this simple. At last, I found it. I just hope I'm doing the right thing. Hey, the power's gone off. That's not a good sign. Fortunately, we know where the exit is, and hopefully it didn't require the crystal skull as its power source. Hopefully. Well, here goes nothing. Ooh, I never noticed there's a water texture up there. So deep underwater. Hmm. It looks like Mr. King has found his way out. And yet he knew it wasn't one of the other float employees. Greetings, Mr. King. Ouch! Congratulations on your success. I got the skull. Now you can let the Amazons go free. <laughs> I don't think so. I'd like you to come with me. Great. I'm locked up again. Hello, King. You double-crossing fiend! Let me out of here! I can't do that. You would interfere with my plans. But thanks to you, the shield surrounding the valley is off. Now I have access to all the dinosaurs within. Why on earth do you need more dinosaurs? The answer is quite simple, Mr. King. Do you know what DNA is? There's only one right answer. Is it the National Dyslexics Association? Not quite. It's deoxyribonucleic acid. It contains the genetic makeup of all living organisms. Change DNA, and you change life itself. You're not mixing dinosaur DNA with human DNA, are ya? I'm afraid so, Mr. King. And with pleasing results, too. Soon, I will have an army of dinosaur soldiers at my command! I'll do whatever I can to stop ya once I get out of here. How noble of you. Maybe you should try banging your head against the bars to loosen them. Or you could use your knife to dig your way out. <laughs> your sarcasm will be your undoing. I'd really love to stay and talk, but I have a lost valley of dinosaurs to plunder. Perhaps we can continue our conversation when I return. Farewell, King. At least he acknowledges the game mechanics and the fact that I still have my old inventory. I'm really beginning to feel like Harry Houdini. I just wonder why we didn't keep the key to this door before. It's locked. 
Now there's only one thing I can reach from in here. It's a chipped enamel mug. And clearly, the way out of this cell. Hey, let me out of here! Joe, we finally found you! What, you thought I was kidding? Hi there, big boy. They? Hello, Joe. Bet you didn't expect to see me, huh? Anderson, what are you doing here? You no good son of a... Get a grip, Joe. He's here to help us. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, get a grip. Why would he want to help us? Because the doctor is insane. He must be stopped at all costs. No kidding? You're a regular genius, you know that? Well, at least I'm smart enough not to be behind bars. <laughs> You're just lucky that I am behind bars, pal. Quit your bickering, you two. He started it. I did not. We have to find a way to get this door open. Yeah, maybe there's a crowbar or something in this cupboard. A crowbar? You'll need more than a crowbar to open this door. Good thinking, Hans. Hans? Your name is Hans? It was my father's name. We don't have time for idle chit-chat. We have work to do. Let's have a look. Hey, there's some kind of gun in here. Spiffy. Be careful, Faye. That crazed Dr. Einstein has some deadly toys. Well, this looks pretty deadly. Maybe I can blow the lock off the door. Okay. Let's give it a go. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Why don't you think it's a good idea, Joe? Are you afraid? No, I'm just concerned for your, uh, safety. Yeah, right. Well, you better stand back. I don't believe it! It dissolved the entire door. Just as well. This thing has burnt out. Well, Faye, we've got to get a move on. Why the hurry? Hans has to fly the Zeppelin into the valley. If we don't get back to the hangar, Einstein may get suspicious. We've done all we can, Joe. You've got to find some way into the valley and stop Einstein before it's too late. I'll try. You guys be careful now, okay? We will. Good luck, Joe. Yes, King. Good luck. This isn't my day. Now I have to find some way into the valley. Well, at the very least, we know Anderson's on our side. For all the help that's gonna do. No need to show leaving through Flota, because absolutely nothing's changed. This is the point in the game when you actually need to get the jetpack, naturally. But, I already have it. So, let's just head back and see what Trader Bob's take on the situation is. He's usually a pretty good guy to talk to at any point in the story. Bob, I've been duped by Floda. I know, Joe. Word travels mighty fast in this here jungle. You know what it's like in a small community. What can I do to help? What do you know about the Valley of the Mists? The valley is covered in a strange, impenetrable mist. Local legend says that it's full of monsters. Dangerous monsters. Why do you want to know? The shield around the valley has been removed, and Flota have gone in. How could they enter the valley? With the shield down, the only way in would be by air. They used an airship. Uh-oh, Joe. We have to stop them. You've got to find a way into the valley. I've got this rocket pack, but the fuel tank's dry. It probably needs methyl alcohol to get it going. There ain't no fuel depots in the jungle, so you'll have to think of something else. 
Why don't you let me take stuff for free? I can't do that, Joe. All the proceeds of this shop go to the Pickme Village Education Fund. The little tykes would suffer if I just gave the stuff away. Have you given the orchid to Naomi yet? No, not yet. I'm going to give it to her tonight when I pick her up for our date. We're going to the Three Toad Sloth restaurant. Why is it called the Three Toad Sloth? Well, the service is slow, and one of the waitresses has only three toes. But it's cheap. I gotta go. Good luck, Joe. Alright, time to buy something I've been wanting for a long time. Excuse me. I'd like to buy this alcohol. Sure thing, son. May I see your ID, please? My ID? Yeah, ID. You have ID, don't you, son? Yeah, sure. I've got it right here. See? Hmm. You were born on the 13th of July, 1922, huh? That's right. How old are you, then? How old am I? I'm, uh... I'm 26. Okay, but this card doesn't have your name on it. Of course it doesn't. I've just changed my name to Joe King, and I haven't got my new ID card through yet. Yeah, right. Okay, you can have the alcohol. Gee, thanks a lot. Remember, drinking doesn't make you big or clever, and never drive an automobile while under the influence. Thanks for the public service announcement, Bob, but I am an adult. Let's have a taste first. You kidding? This stuff costs money. Well, yeah, that was the point. You're supposed to drink it. Okay, forget drinking it. Let's just fuel up the rocket pack. I don't know how much gas to put in this thing. If I use too much, I may blow myself sky high. What I need is an instruction manual. Ah, that's right. There were notes along with a padlock key. Those will probably tell us what to do. The silverfish have had a feast. Most of it's unreadable. It says something about storing the pack off-site because it's extremely volatile. Ah, so that was just a hint to where the padlock was. Well, haven't talked to Naomi for a while. Hi, Naomi. I'm here to bother you again. You're never a bother, Joe. How may I help you? Those scissors you gave me came in handy. And that perfume you gave me smells wonderful. It's just like the one the Bob gave me for my birthday. Glad to be of service. I'm sure my date with Bob tonight will be great. You seem to spend a lot of time polishing things. We've got a reputation to uphold. We won the 1948 Tidy Store Award for having the cleanest 24-hour convenience store and native pygmy village in the Amazon. I'm impressed. Of course, we're the only 24-hour convenience store and native village in the Amazon, but it's the thought that counts. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. And I guess there's one more character to talk to. Hello. Squaw! Hello. I'd like to talk, but I gotta fly. Wise guy, eh? Okay, so Wedgwood has nothing to say. Okay, back to the pinnacle. No, oh, wait, actually, I want to see what the witch doctor has to say now. Hello, it's me again. I just wanted to say thanks for the lotion. That's okay, Joe. That's what I'm here for. Do you know how I can enter the Valley of the Mists? That's a tough one. The only person I know who may have an answer is the Chief. Legend has it that his grandfather once entered the Valley. If I visit at 3 in the morning, will you be here? No way! I'll be home asleep! But the sign says 24 hours. So aren't you open for 24 hours? Yeah, but not in a row. What if I need some urgent medical attention? Take two aspirin and call me in the morning. Don't you have a locum witch doctor? Are you kidding? Do you know how much they cost? 
I'm running on as little pay as it is. Thanks. I feel much better now. That's good. Alright, so about the chief. Hi, chief. I need the call upon your wisdom. Sure thing. How may I help you? What do you know about the Valley of the Mists? The valley is a sacred place. It was created by our gods at the beginning of time. It is impossible for mere mortals to pass through its protective mists. Not anymore. I think I may have destroyed the mists. What? How could you do such a thing? I took the crystal skull from its resting place in the temple. Why did you do that? The sacred skull supplies the magic that powers the mists. In the wrong hands, the skull may be used for evil. Oops. I didn't really have any choice. Floda forced me to take it. You must stop them at once. If modern man finds the secrets that lie within the valley, we may all be doomed. Okay, I'll do my best. I thought it was just dinosaurs. You seem to spend a lot of your time sunbathing. I've been feeling a little run down lately. My witch doctor suggests that I relax and get some sun. I think it's working. I feel a lot more perky. What's it like being chief of the village? Not too bad, although it can get a little tiring having to perform my chiefly duties all the time. What chiefly duties? You know, opening the occasional jungle mall, organizing the odd charity dramathon, and arranging the annual Easter headhunt, that sort of thing. I've got to go now. Goodbye, Joe. All right, well, next time I guess we got a couple more people I want to talk to before I actually head to the valley. And then we'll take on the evil Dr. Einstein and save the world. See you next time for the finale of Flight of the Amazon Queen.